Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. My name is Tanner Watt. I'm a municipal energy specialist with local authority services. Uh, today we'll be hearing from Granger and Motion Industries, who are two of the vendors available uh, to supply fire equipment through the municipal group buying program. Uh, this program was launched a bit over a year ago to help Ontario municipalities save time and save money when doing the purchases that they need to do to keep their communities running. Uh, in that year, we've had just over uh, 140 municipalities who've made a purchase through the program already. So we're very pleased to, uh, to see how it's been embraced by municipalities across Ontario. Uh, we've got uh, today with us a bit of a group of people. Uh, first off is Ainsley Murdoch. She also is with Local Authority Services and she covers uh, communities in Northern Ontario. I'm the primary contact for those in the South. Uh, and we are your, your first steps, uh, your first go-to person if you have any questions about the program. Um, from Granger, we have Karen Stormont, Sales Manager, Government and Healthcare. With Motion Industries, we have Tristan Dolan, Supply Chain Specialist, and Matt Gordon, Product Specialist. Uh, we are recording the webinar and we'll send out a link to the video archive uh, in the follow-up email, and we'll also send out PDF copies of the slide decks uh, that Granger and Motion will be showing you today. So with that, I will hand it off to Motion Industries. All right. Excellent, thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate your time uh, and uh, everybody for showing up. My name is Matt Gordon. I'm a product specialist in the uh, First Responders Division for Motion Industries. Uh, we're here to talk about the Motion Industries firefighting PPE contract uh, with uh, the local authorities. I didn't want to go too in depth, but just to kind of show you our deal or our branch network. Uh, again, Matt? Motion in. Yes. I don't think we Hello. can see your screen. You can't, you're not on. Okay, just hold on. Yeah, there we go. All right, thank you, sorry. So again, quickly, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, Motion Industries. We're here to speak about our, our PPE contract uh, with uh, local authorities. Um, just to show our branch network here, again, you can see the United States. We have over 550 branches under the General uh, Genuine Parts Corporation. Motion Industries in Canada, we have over 50 branches. Uh, you can just kind of see some of our network there. I don't want to spend too much time uh, but again, we have a large uh, logistical uh, footprint in uh, North America. Uh, some of the offerings that we're going to talk about here, I'm just going to sort of stay on that sort of 10,000 foot level. Uh, the two offerings that we have for turnout gear, uh, our premium brand is Morning Pride Tails by Honeywell. Uh, it's a premium product. It's, it's always been known for its exceptional quality. It's true customization. So as far as the composite from fabrics to moisture barriers to thermal liners, uh, and then we get into the uh, the options on pockets and lettering. Uh, innovative features, um, and then, of course, custom fit. Uh, the second uh, offering that we have as far as firefighter PPE structural turnout gear, uh, we offer the Lakeland Industries. Uh, Lakeland Industries really uh, is a pretty wide gambit as far as they have the B10, which is the basic uh, industrial fire brigade. Uh, all of these uh, sets of gear are NFPA 1971 certified. Uh, but then again, we started the B10, which is more the basic, uh, you know, limited selection as far as composite goes. Uh, and then we move up to the, the stealth gear, which is pictured on the left. And that's just premium options, more ergonomics. Uh, there are some more customization, but not the same as Morning Pride. Uh, we also offer multi-response gear. And this has been a trend, uh, as I'm sure you all know, in the fire service. Uh, that when we look at the majority of our calls not being fire related, that we're putting premium products, and, and again, very costly um, 
products sometimes into a position where they're not best suited. Uh, but again, that's all we have. Uh, so with multi-response gear, we can get it certified for EMS rescue and wildland, uh, as well as liquid splash, lightweight, increased mobility, it's durable and economical. Uh, we are seeing some fire departments running two sets, one set of structural and one multi-response gear. Uh, and then we offer a number of coveralls all through Lakeland Industries. They meet requirements at NFP 1977 and 1951. So again, this is a dual certified sort of multiple option that's rescue and wildland. Uh, this, this option also has a jacket, uh, which is dual certified. Uh, less customization, essentially what you see is what you have other than size. Uh, now we have the Lakeland uh, 1977 wildland coveralls, plenty of pockets, back pleats, it's economical, and again, size is small to 4XL. Uh, helmets that we're offering, as far as the modern offering, we have the uh, by Honeywell first responder products. We have the Light Force, uh, which is you know a, it's a great value, multiple uh, eye protection options in multiple colors. Uh, the premium helmet that Morning Pride offers is the EV1. Uh, it's a premium suspension, multiple colors, integrated eye protection, uh, and that comes in both modern and traditional. Uh, it, traditional helmets, we have Ben 2. Uh, it's traditional only. It only comes in black. It's the toughest helmet on the market. You can, uh, one of the demonstrations they've done is they've hammered a nail into a two by four using the Ben 2. Uh, and it's just the fire glass they use. It's so hard, so rigid. It actually passes the helmet standard without a bump lining in it. Uh, and then we have the EV1, which is the, uh, the premium Honeywell helmet, premium suspension, integrated eye protection, which is NFP 1971 certified. Uh, and it only comes in gloss, it does have multiple colors, and it's one of the latest traditional helmets on the market. Structural firefighting gloves, uh, the two offerings that we're putting out for three-dimensional are the Honeywell Super Glove, comes in 16 sizes. Uh, it is made of kangaroo. Uh, we, we like to think of it as, as turnout gear for your hands. Uh, we also offer the Inotex, the 85, uh, which also come in 16 sizes, also made out of kangaroo, uh, and they both come in wristlet or gauntlet. Uh, and then we have, for two-dimensional gloves, we're offering the Intertex 885 and the Intertex 815. Uh, a little more economical than the uh, the Super Gloves or the uh, Intertex 885s. Uh, they'll be made out of cow, um, and then there's a mix of a hybrid of cow and, um, sorry, elk, I believe, and kangaroo. Flash hoods, uh, so when we're gonna, the offerings that we're gonna have for flash hoods are the Honeywell First Responder Products Mass Mate. These ones are not particulate resistant. There's no seams over the top of the head, an oval face, an oval shaped face opening, uh, and it comes in different fabrics. So we have a Nomex lensing offering, we have a, uh, a carbon Kevlar offering, uh, as well as a uh, PBI offering. For Particulate resistant, both of these are going to use the Stead Air Prevent um, textile. So we're going to uh, offer the Intertex Gray. It does come in two sizes. Uh, the nice thing with the Stead Air Prevent is that it's per air permeable. Um, and then uh, Mask Mate, Honeywell makes, it comes in two sizes. It also uses the Stead Air Prevent textile. Uh, and these ones are a little more loose fitting. So uh, some departments, uh, like it and others don't. It seems to be a bit of a polarizing. Intertex gray as far as particulate blocking hoods um, we've had great success with. Firefighting footwear, uh, we're offering the Pro Warrington line and then the Ranger line. Uh, the, the Cadillac of the Pro Warrington line is the BT5555. It's the Nighthawk. It's the number two selling structural firefighter boot and knife in, in North America. Athletic fit, it has a two-year warranty. Uh, it's a replacement warranty, uh, and they come in uh, sizes, or sorry, sizes from 5 to 16, including half sizes, three widths, and it's 1971 and 1992 certified. Uh, for the Ranger boot line, we're uh, going to highlight two of the offerings, and one is the BT-1500. They're made in Canada. It's a great value, uh, and again, 1971, 1992, and CSA rated. Uh, the next boot is the Ranger uh, BT-1000, extremely comfortable. It's, it's like a neoprene lining, 
They don't look like rubber boots. They don't fit like rubber boots. We've had great success, uh, and they're really not that much more uh, than the Ranger 1500. Um, and, and as we all know, uh, as firefighters, that um, certainly uh, what we wear on the feet matters, and it makes our job uh, uh, much easier or much more difficult. Um, and uh, thank you uh, for this time. Great, thanks, Matt. All right. Uh, all right, so uh, we'll hand it off to Karen next to speak uh, for Granger. And while she's getting her screen share shut up, set up, um, I'll just let everybody know how we're going to be handling question and answer for today. We'll be going over this once both presentations are done, and we'll use the Q&A function built into Zoom. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a Q&A box. Click on that, type in your question at any time, uh, and we'll answer those uh, at the end. All right, and with that, I'll hand it off to you, Karen. Thanks, Tanner. Can you hear me? Yep. Awesome. Thank you to Tanner and to everyone on the call today. As Tanner mentioned, I'm the government sales manager for Ontario, so that means I support all government segments, including healthcare, education, federal, provincial, and last but certainly not least, all the municipalities. And today I wanted to take this time to share with you some information about Granger Canada, who we are, what we do, and what solutions and products we provide that you might not be aware of, but that I know will bring you value and greater efficiency. So I'm going to be much higher level than Matt, but we'll begin. So the agenda, I'm going to do a Granger at a glance, talk about some of our fire equipment and PPE offering, uh, Granger e-commerce benefits, our keep stock inventory management solutions, services that we provide, and I'm gonna give you some input on the 3M uh, Brockville location that's starting up in 2021. We had a meeting with them last week, and they'll be manufacturing N95s in Canada. I'm sure you're aware of that starting in the new year. So who is Granger? You may remember we were Ackland's Granger for many years. We're a 180 year old Canadian company, but now we are officially Granger Canada. We have four distribution centers across the country, 30 plus branches, and we're part of a global network. And we can offer you over 500,000 products available 80% of the time, next day delivery, prepaid freight. And I mentioned the Canadian distribution centers because the main hub in Ontario is in Caledon. It's 550,000 square feet. And every day we carry over 180,000 products in stock. So when you go online or you call our customer care team, you know that what you order will be delivered next day, and that's just in time, and that means you're lowering your carrying costs. Also wanted to talk about the fact that we also carry fire equipment. We have multiple lines. We deal with Angus Fire, Checkers, Ansel, Bulldog, MSA, hoses, foam, reels, first aid kits, escape ladders, you name it, we carry it. Um, we also have a national master standing offer with the Government of Canada. It's called the Fire Safety Rescue Equipment Standing Offer, and we are the vendor of record for hoses, ladders, breathing apparatus, eyewear, hearing protection, and anything we don't have, we have a dedicated sourcing department, so we can always get it for you. So I encourage you to go to our website and just take a look around. Also like to mention, we have firefighter clothing and accessories and bunker gear. Uh, we also carry Lakeland, Scott, Honeywell, DuPont, just to name a few. Um, you can contact me or your local rep if you have any questions or need any products that you don't see. As I said, we can get you anything. And speaking of our website, because you're all aligned now to the SourceWell GPO Group Purchasing Organization contract, you are eligible for discounts. We have 31 product categories. You get discounts in every one of those categories. And unless you log in, you will not see your contract price. So I encourage you to go here where it says register and sign in, you must sign in with your account number. You'll be taken to a landing page dedicated to you, and you'll be able to look at all of the products all at once, order product next day, prepaid as I mentioned. Hang on here. You can run a history, you can get ETAs, you can uh, print invoices. Um, it just, it, it's incredibly powerful. It saves you time, it saves you doing purchase orders. You can set purchasing limits for your buyers, it just makes you more efficient and saves you money and time. 
And then I also wanted to mention we have inventory management solutions, and this is a no charge value added solution that we provide to our customers. So whether it's a vending machine with high turn items and you need your your team to get uh, high dollar value gloves or goggles, whatever it may be, they can get a pin number and you can track who's getting what, but you don't have to have someone in a tool crib all day. And we will replenish that weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you decide. We will set minimum order quantities with you. We'll review quarterly. We also will will stock tool cribs and we have a team of people who go around every week and replenish inventory. Again, saving you time to do the inventory management and the purchasing. We also have a services component. We calibrate and repair gas detection. We can do the um, calibration of torque wrenches. We can recertify your lanyards, your fall arrest equipment, your SRLs. We can help you with respiratory fit testing. These are all services we provide at a very minimal fee. And you can see the brands that we service all day long across the country. I wanted to talk about PPE. Obviously, it's been a real challenge for the last six to nine months. We started seeing orders from the government in January. We, we knew something was up then, and this was before it was really wi widely reported, but we were getting calls from the federal government, the provincial government, for a lot of N95 masks, gloves, sanitizers, nitrile gloves, you name it. And the problem is that the manufacturing has left Canada, and we were kind of stuck for a bit. So 3M has now very wisely decided to open up a plant in Brockville, and they're just in the startup phase. It'll be it's starting to manufacture. It looks like it'll be February, March, and they'll be making two masks there called the Aura brand. And these are made in Canada and only for Canada. They will not be going anywhere else. Um, there's, as I said, there's two items, Aura. One of them is the 9205 Plus. I'll just give you some details, similar to the 9210 Plus, but it has a different elastic on it. They're individually wrapped, they're flat fold, they have a chin strap. And then the second item is an 1870 Plus, very, very similar, however, has better fluid resistance. They'll be going through distribution only, and they're filling in their pipeline now. So they've asked us to communicate to our customers if you want to lock in. Um, product and ensure that you have N95s when you need them, Canada made. We can help you with that. They're asking for purchase orders with quantities, with releases. You can release monthly, quarterly, bi-monthly, whatever the case may be. But given, you know, the, the tenuous state of everything right now, uh, it's a good idea to lock into this. Might be some fit testing required, but we can help you with that. Also want to mention, if you go to our website, you'll see that a lot of the PPE products are blocked and not accessible. That does not mean we don't have them. We have N95s, we have nitrile gloves, we have sanitizer, but we, we're not allowing John Q. Public to buy those. We're keeping those for frontline healthcare workers, essential workers, fire departments, EMS locations. We think that's the right thing to do. So please reach out to your rep or to me if you need anything or have any questions. I appreciate your time and I look forward to your questions. Thank you. Great. Uh, thank you, Matt and Curie. Uh, thank you, Matt and Karen, for that comprehensive overview. I'm just going to turn on my video now for questions. So before we get into Q&As, I just wanted to thank you all for taking time out of your busy, busy schedule to participate in this webinar. Remember, we're here to support our members and providing continued services at this time. So I encourage you to reach out to Tannerai to set up a meeting or conference call with your team so we can re review your unique procurement requirements and I can outline our program in further detail. Uh, so now let's take a look at some of the questions that have come through and we'll do our best to answer them. So the first question I have is, um, how do we access Motion Industries contracts? I can answer that one, Matt, um, if you want, and if you want to add to that. All of our contracts are available on uh, sourcewall-mn.gov. We can share the link after the call, uh, but on that portal, you can uh, you don't even need to log in access. You can view all the contracts, pricing, how it was awarded, and those kinds of details uh, online. So you can type in the name under vendors and contracts of Motion Industries, and the contract will come up that's associated with the LES program. Um, Matt, did you want to add anything about the contract that we have in place with you guys? Um, I, I don't think so. I think that's the best way. But uh, if we're looking at turnout gear, the uh, because it is a custom product, 
uh, that there is some consultation. So you can access, you can look at it. Um, and then once we start, we'll set up this, we'll set up a spec, create the customizations that we need. Uh, and then once that's acceptable, that's when we get that final pricing. Um, so we won't be able to see a price because it is a custom product. Great. They also had a, another question that's related to that is how do you purchase through motion under the contract? Like what's the best way? How routinely, uh, I mean, once, uh, once we, we've been, uh, once you've reached out to us, we'll just set up the account. Uh, we'll register it under uh, a source we'll bid and then we'll just continue. If you don't have an account with motion industries that we'll have to set one of those up. Uh, but other than that, then we can, uh, we'll follow the terms. We'll just create the pricing and then move forward from there. Great. The next question that just came through is, uh, do your companies provide on-site sizing for bunker gear? So for us traditionally, uh, we, yes, we have. Um, and we do it uh, again with the tape measure. We also do it with the uh, sizing kits. Um, Right now, with uh, the world being what it is, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes. But uh, yes, we'll arrange to have somebody out to uh, to do the sizing. Great. I just wanted to add to Matt's previous note about purchasing through Motion Industries. You can always reach out to Tanner or myself for any initial purchase. Um, that's what we're here for, is to help you either guide you in the right direction, get you some quotes, or connect you to your local sales rep. So definitely use uh, Tanner and I for that. Um, the next question that came through is, does Acklands offer on-site sizing? We do, yes. We have uh, safety specialists all over the country, so we can make arrangements. As Matt said, it's a little challenging right now, but we can work around it. Great. Okay, so another question that came through are, are the unit prices fixed regardless of quantities ordered, or will the order quantities change pricing for both Granger and Motion Industries contracts? Uh, I can speak for motion. Uh, yeah, it's a fixed quantity. The price on one is the price on a hundred. In our case, uh, your, your price online is um, based on, I'm going to say not a hundred. If it's a high volume item, in that case, we might look at it, be able to do a little bit better, but um, always reach out and, and ask if it's high quality, high volume. Great. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any other questions. I have a couple here. Um, what are like delivery times and fees associated with both of the, the contracts or how's that going? Well, as I mentioned, we stock 180,000 products in Caledon. We have, we have cu customers have access to 500,000. So we are shipping 85 to 90% of the time next day delivery and freight is always prepaid. Uh, we, we, could, we, we have a couple of options. We can do prepaid or we can use your account if you want. Um, all of Morning Pride's turnout gear. Uh, and again, sometimes it's dependent upon time of year, but the reality is because it's, it is custom turnout gear that um, what's going to happen uh, we're looking on that six to eight week delivery. Uh, sometimes they have been shorter, um, but traditionally we're looking at eight weeks for custom turnout gear. Okay. Uh, we have some few more, a few more questions that came through just now. Um, how does Motion Industries service provinces without a distribution center, example, Ontario? Uh, we do have a distribution center in Ontario, um, but uh, we, we service um, through the branches um, uh, locally. So uh, there is distribution um, through our Genuine Parts Corporation. Um, so, so we do have a, a distribution center there and it, it's handled. Uh, some of the products, again, if we go back to custom products, there's no stocking. It's, it's created um, when, when the order is placed. Okay. Um, another question that came through is uh, with regards to the N95 masks and moisture resistance, does this refer to exterior moisture or interior respiratory moisture or both? I'll have to get you more details on that from 3M. We just had a quick meeting and um, she did give me some figures, but uh, I'll have to refer to that. I'll send that to Tanner so he can share that with you. Okay, great. 
the other question we have, uh, sorry, is, sorry, you may have answered this, it is mentioned that you need an account number to access the LAS contract. Where do we find out our account number? I can answer that. Um, your account number is your LAS number and you can reach out to Tanner or myself and that will be provided through us. Um, so definitely reach out to us to help with that. Uh, the other question that came through is, will all presenters' contact details be shared at the end? Um, I don't think we have a slide for that, Tanner, right? But uh, we, don't. we can definitely send that. Yeah, I'll be sending out a follow-up email either this afternoon or tomorrow, and I'll include contact information for everybody in that one. Great. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other questions at this time. I can allow for a couple minutes, or if anybody has some last-minute questions, we can answer them. Um, you guys said inventory is a lot better in terms of uh, different requests right now for both Motion and Granger. There's, has there been many inventory problems lately? or Supply chain is flowing well for us. We've been taking allocation orders for customers for things like N95 masks. So at least they're in the manufacturing queue and we are getting product. So, so far so good. I know there's a nitrile shortage from Malaysia. That's a global problem, but we have latex and vinyl gloves and other offerings. There's always an alternate solution. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, Matt, I don't know if you wanted to add anything to that or... Um... So speaking specifically to the, the contract that we came to talk about, uh, no, we, we haven't had any uh, supply chain problems there. Uh, if we wish to talk about pandemic supplies, uh, again, we, sh we share the same struggles that everybody else uh, shares with uh, global shortages and supply chain. Uh, Motion Canada does, under Genuine Parts Corporation, we have a Genuine Fit um, independent uh, label where we have masks that are made. We do have access. We have uh, non-medical masks. We have nitrile gloves, both medical and non-medical. Um, it, it's, it's a global struggle for all of these parts. Uh, as far as our PPE contract for uh, turnout gear, no, we, we haven't seen any shortages um, for any of the, uh, the fire service PPE that we've offered. Great, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know if there's um, any other questions that have come through. Um, so yeah, thank you, Matt and Karen, for that really great overview. Uh, Tanner, did you uh, want to close things off or? Uh, sure. Do you want me um, to? Sure. Thanks everybody for taking the time to join us. Um, hope everybody's enjoying the sunrise over uh, Tristan's shoulder right now. We're kind of <laughs> covering a good chunk of the country with presenters, so we've got all the different time zones covered. Um, as always, if you have any questions about fire equipment, uh, fire trucks, or any other parts of the municipal group buying program, uh, feel free to reach out to either myself for Southern Ontario or Ainsley in Northern Ontario. Uh, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. All right. Thanks, everybody, and have a great good day. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.